I actually learned how to knit from a book in college. Um, I did it with friends, so getting together with friends was a big part of it. Um, but also just the feeling that the, just touching all the different fibers, like everything has a different feel and a different drape and it's got room for endless exploration. My name's Karen Anderson. I'm a member of the Bombshells. I was the project lead for meandering here at the Nature Center. The Bombshells are a, a group of fiber artists who yarn bomb in the Cincinnati area. We have members of all ages from 18 to over 90. We actually had people from multiple groups contributing, which is amazing. So the bombshells really like to bring in the community to be part of our projects. So we bring in crocheters, and we had people who just saw our events on Facebook and showed up to help. We were very inspired by the Willow Tunnel in the Playscape, actually. The Weavers Guild learned about the Willow Tunnel after a basketry class at the Guild and we were able to get some cuttings about a year and a half ago from the Willow Tunnel in the Playscape to start our own Willow Patch at the Weaver's Guild. And so that is what inspired the tunnels that we've woven on and attached awesome butterflies to. <laughs> we used all plant materials because we wanted to be able to compost everything at the end um, so it would biodegrade and break down without harming the environment. The sculpture was designed for people to be able to move through and around the arches. It kind of traces a curving path that leads you into the pollinator garden. Um, but there's also opportunities for people to come and weave or macrame their own addition to it. And we've got a cute mailbox that's going to be filled with fiber that's sort of pre-cut and prepped so to make it easy for everyone. Um, there'll be a video that visitors can watch when we're not here to teach them um, how, to, how to weave onto the panels. 